Okay, I just might as well start right off with the shocker du jour. Praveen Mohan is, uh, I guess this is India where he is. And uh, this is not really there, these two things. He's got that highlighted. We'll take a little closer look if, if I can find it without being highlighted. Now, there's a whole landscape of these creatures. And he's wondering if they were carved in there. Well, I'm not sure, but I can tell you what. I'm seeing signs here that indicate to me this was biology at one time. And there's a several reasons. Plants are growing out of the tissues, which are normally, you know, bloody tissues in the body, make things grow right into the blood vessels. And they're growing all out of this skin. Now, what else? Moss. Oh, moss is everywhere. Well, that's true. I can't discount that at all. But, so, but it is here. Now, what else is here? You see that? Look at this very, very, very carefully. If this was a carved stone, what is this doing in there? Around its eyeball which I can see these little spots around the eyeball indicate to me that looks extremely realistic to me. And that cavity right there, that cavity is the, that's the killer as far as I'm concerned. That, that to me indicates this baby was alive at one time. All right, and you can see the red blood is in this area here. All right, now, there's a whole wall of this stuff. Look at this thing. There's an elephant over here with a trunk. There's all kinds of creatures here, body parts and people that look like they're all in sort of different configurations. But Ovid did say that the gods, which and all of these things back long, long, long ago, there was many gods and they, they were gods from different peoples. All right, that's why we have all these different looking people, you know, different people from different places in the world, they have a different look to them. They were originated from a different stock of people. Now, here, this God decided he's going to make a whole batch of people into statues for his delight, apparently. Now, look very carefully. You see the redness in this thing, these things? I don't know, you maybe probably can't see that. But uh, like right there, let me see if I can focus in on these. There, there's some spots here that, to me, they look like they're le leaking the blood out of them. I mean, I've studied so much of this stuff that when you see something, that, you know, that bloody red stuff, that's just, they leak out. The red blood, it, the artery blood is, is very fluid compared to the, the, the uh, vein blood. Vein blood just hardens up. Plants growing all out of them. That's as much as I can get out of this. That's that's about all I got for you on these. I don't know if they're uh, they're real or not. I'd really have to 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 have Praveen look at certain aspects of this. And I mean, I could help them. I could guide them a little bit. I'd love to interact. And uh, you know, this Praveen Mohan, Mohan, Mohan. I'm not good with names. <laughs> okay, yeah, I see the fangs. He's right. There's a fang coming out here, and there's a pair, it looks like one coming out over there. And all the plants are growing into... It could be just because of, of the runoff and eroded flesh from up above from some creature or whatever, biology, that they're growing into there. But I don't think so because of the other things I showed you, the eye socket and so many other things. And... Uh, that's all I can tell you. I can't say one way or the other. I'd really have to have Praveen do some really good stuff with... You can get these little microscopes, just like this thing here. You, can you see that? You can carry these things around with you and plug it into a laptop. And go right down there with this. This is what this is all about. This you could take in a field or you do it right here on a bench. I usually... Well, I don't want to feel anymore. I have to. I carried all this stuff in here. I got so much stuff. I... I Oh, you know what? I gotta show you this gigantic bone. Next next video, I'll show you the gigantic bone. Anyway, inauguration day. I hope this is the day of truth. 
I watched Trump. He was very inspiring. If they can handle the truth, my truth is is sometimes a little bit hard to handle. <laughs> Just put it mildly. But truth is truth, and this is truth. And I wanted to be able to speak about it, and I wanted to speak against the people who have, have suppressed this intentionally, not by accident. There was no accidents here. This was intentional suppression, and if that, I'm hoping President Trump will address this. I mean, literally him and his crew right at the top end of government, because this that's the only people that can stand up to, to places like Yale. And Yale is the one that destroyed basically everything I did. And um, and uh, I think there's a lot of, uh, as far as I'm concerned, I, I see the, this is, is criminal, what they did to me. And to the American people by taking the funding from NASA and you know, all kinds of science and this and that to do the research I already did and gave to Yale before. And then they twisted it around a little bit, said, no, it wasn't mud, it was sand. And that was it. But they used exactly my same research. And I had gave all that stuff to them years before that, and and uh, and I want this handled. I want some this to be straightened out in a, a major, major, major way. And I think Donald Trump, he's got enough lawyers to make this happen. And I want to see it happen. I really do. I'd like to see. Well, I'm not going to get thrown mud because you get a point where you get so frustrated. You, you, you get bitter and then you start throwing mud. I don't want to be that way. That's not my way. I want to just interact scientifically. And that's what I see from Donald Trump. Am I wrong? I don't know. Let's see if, if anybody can handle this. I, I, if anybody can, it be him. And not only can you, you have to be able to handle it, you have to be able to handle the people that can't handle it. And he's the people that can. He, he's a guy that can handle people that can't handle stuff. He just said, "This is it. This case is closed on this, and you're going to pay attention, or there'll be consequences." And that's, there should be serious, serious, serious consequences. Yale doesn't even pay taxes. Do you know that? They don't pay taxes. That they're considered nonprofit. Let me tell you something. They're one of the most profitable. They got forty billion dollars, and I expect Trump. I would say to take it all but certainly at least half. And I need some of that very small amount to get my university running. And he's going to have a university. He can have some of it. And the rest we give to the people in California down in the, where they've had the floods and all this stuff. Give back to the people. We should be sitting in their coffers while they, they tell people things that they know are not true. They know they're not true now. If you tell me they, they, they don't realize it, I would say they're the most incompetent people ever consumed oxygen. That's impossible for them to be able to just walk away from this. And they, they, I'm hoping they can. I'm, I'm putting Donald Trump right in the middle here. I'm hoping he'll stand up. So all I've heard for years now, how oh, Trump, it's very, very important, truth, truth, truth. I could never get through to anybody in the current administration or anybody ever. So. Let's find out. That's, uh, I'm just hoping, man. This has just this has been the most frustrating 15 years of my life. I love you all, bye. Okay, my friends, you, my mud fossil devotees, have solved another mystery that has perplexed me. What is that? Well, it sort of perplexed me. We find these balls everywhere around the world. Everywhere, 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 everywhere. Now, they are coated with something that is extremely edible to plants and in the cold climates they turn mossy and look at this this is that coating i'm almost certain and i saw this stuff here going on and i it, it, it confused me because I, I i didn't understand and you see down here i think this is the emphasis right here i think that's where it, it's because they lock in every one of them has has fibers that come out of it and i think that's it right there now, you see these little loopy looking things here? And I said, mm. then I thought, wow, I got it figured out. Those anchor that ball in with these little indentations like fingerprints almost. So I started thinking along that line. But, you know, I just, I didn't, just, I didn't know. But the other, how I got started thinking that way was because of these other ones. Let me show you the other ones that haven't flaked this stuff off. It's just made solid. 
Now this is exactly the way you find them all the time, split like this and a solid ball. Sometimes they're solid, not split, and sometimes they're split. Yeah, this, I, I say this over and over and over, but it is true. This is why we are so successful at understanding mud fossils is we have more researchers working through Mud Fossil University than anybody in the whole world has on anything. I don't care what they're doing. They don't have as many researchers because we are interested and contribute freely to this thing so we understand. So I want to appreciate, I, I can't remember who even sent me that thing. I just sort of pick up on things and then I go back and look at them and I forget even who sent it to me. And, and that's a part of, product of my age as well. I'm going to tell you right now, there will be a time when this is going to just, not, I'm not going to be able to do this, so you better start paying attention. And, and thank God this person sent it to me. Because look, I, then I started to think, let me look at what I can make out of this. And I started following these things around. It does look like a, like a little insect or something got in here and started eating and eating and eating like termites. I think that's what they said, termites or something. Some kind of little bugs. And this is very edible. I know that for a fact and I'll show you why I know it for a fact. And these things to be like a continuous little loopy little things that go around. Like, so that's what I'm going to go with that these are, because you don't see it down here. Why is it just right here? Well, that's where the guy was living. <laughs> well, he was eating and he went somewhere else. But he didn't go over here. Nobody was over here eating. That's how I'm taking this right now. I think that supports the things I'm saying. But these are balls, and they're all over the place. And they, there was all kinds of bugs here because every one of them had the same thing. That's why I thought, you know, all of them had the same thing. Well, they're all a product of the same biology. And they are. But these things are something eating it. Now, let me show you why I say that, because I'm going to show you fields of these things that are mossy. All right, if you've been around, you you know all about this, so it won't be shocking. But if you haven't, this is going to shock you. And it's just true, it's just shocking. These are what they call Moki marbles. And they're all over Utah and Arizona, and they have no idea why. They say, oh, they're just concretions. They just happen to turn into little round balls of sort of metal just all by themselves. No. What they were at one time was the interstitium, it's called. And it's right there in this wall underneath this skin. And when it erodes, these balls f flop down here, and the thing just keeps eroding back. This is the flesh. It is now mud. These balls are not stromatolites that just started growing here. They're balls that fell out of here and they have they have a certain bacteria built into that blood because it's coated with that bloody scale that I just showed you and the moss and in this, this case some kind of some kind of moss-ish stuff is growing in onto that fleshy stuff that's underneath there. And I can absolutely certainly show you this for a fact. Now, can I show this in the human body? Absolutely. Here it is right here, only it didn't erode yet. That's the skin. It's just the skin. Same as I just showed you below, that white stuff. And then below that is all this fleshy red stuff, but they're showing it with all the interstitium, which is the, the stuff that holds it in place. The balls lock these straps in place. So you can go this way, and pull this way, and pull this way, and your skin comes back. That's where those balls come into it. And what happens when this all erodes away and erodes away and erodes away? All the reddish stuff turns into mud, and the balls just drop to the bottom because they don't erode. They don't fall apart. Well, sometimes they do, but it, what happens is all of this stuff will be eaten and then you'll end up with this. They're all over the seafloor too. They're everywhere. They call them nodules. That's what these are. This, we are on top of some kind of biology that just staggers the mind. That is skin, my friends. Skin, skin, skin. This right here, this tiny little thin layer is the, inter is the um, fluid-filled highway. They call it interstitial now. But it's a fluid-filled highway. It's this one little line here, if you can see it, it's a little darker. And that keeps from invasion. This is your immune system. They just, it's just, this is all new. Once you break through that into the good flesh, you're in trouble. 
there's fluids running through here that have all the enzymes, bacteria, ribosomes, all of the macrophages that attack and kill the invaders. But you, if you don't have the right chemistry in your body, you're done. You cannot attack. That's what chronic illness is and so forth. I have a lot to talk to the Trump administration about. I understand all this. If you want honesty and truth, that's, you're going to have to come to me because nobody else that I know of has it. Literally zero. Now, I, I may not be right on everything I say, but I'm pretty damn sure that I'm right on 99%. I don't see any, you know, nobody, said, nobody can stand up to me. If they do, come on. And here's what I'm talking about when you come into this interstitium. You see all those balls that I showed you before? Look at this. What do you think you see there? Look way up here. They're everywhere. Look them. Every, everywhere, everywhere. And every single one of them is completely coated with this green, green moss. Anytime you have red, red blood, you're going to have green, green moss. And that's it. Now, why? I always wondered this. I said, how could this be? How could they all become infected at once with the moss? It was just, it's not, it's not possible. The only possibility is that the moss is part of that ball. And once it gets out and it can get sunlight on it and all that stuff, it starts to grow. Every single one, 100%. 100%. There's none that don't have moss on it. So that tells me, because I know this is a gigantic creature. There's no question about this. This is up in Alaska. And um, it's just thawing out now. Now these things are above. They're, before they were frozen in a permafrost. Right? Think about this now. The earth is just warming up and all these things are melting and all the permafrost is going and things are caving in as methanes are belching out because this is biology and it was capped off for a while and frozen. Now it's all over. Now it's coming out. But the key here is every single one of these is, was infected with that bacteria or moss, basically, it's similar. And inside is the ball, just like I showed you. Watch, here's inside the ball. Right here, here's one of the balls cut open. There's where the ball is. And this is where that muddy stuff was right around it. And after this thing eats into everything, then all that'll be left is the ball. And this is growing now, there's no roots. The roots are growing down into this. And these things actually roll. <laughs> And why, I guess, is that down here is looking for sunlight and eventually it'll sort of give it a little, and they all will go in the same direction at the same time. They say they move, they know they move, and they're all, oh, we can't understand it. Well, it's looking for sunlight. This one doesn't have any sunlight, it wants to go a little that way. I don't know, something like that. And they just sort of roll, roll, roll. Actually, you can see the twist up this way. I think it was rolling that way. I would say they rolled out. <laughs> that one did. <laughs>